Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem sixty-three in chapter twenty-four. Chapter twenty-four is about capacitance, Dow Electrics, and electric energy storage. So there you can see we have this system, right? This is a capacitor. The distance is d, and now we have a Dow Electric, and its constant is k, and inserted a distance x. This one. And、uh, now we need to determine the equivalent capacitance. So this one we can consider this part as one conductor. So this is a one capacitor. This is C one, and this part we consider it as another capacitor C two, right? And then if you connect the C one and C two with battery. Of course, the voltage of the C1 equal to voltage of C2. So we can see the C1 and C2 is in parallel connection. Do you agree? Yes. Now, if we want to find the equivalent capacitance for this system, it can be simplified as find the equivalent capacitance for C1 and C2, and C1 and C2 are in parallel connection. It is so simple, right? The equivalent capacitance C just equal to C1 plus C2. Mm -hmm. Now we need to write the capacitance C one and C two. So how can we do that? We can see, as we know, for C one, this is air, right? This is empty. So the equivalent capacitance, equivalent、uh, the Dow electric constant equals to one, and it, so we can say epsilon naught times the cross sectional errors. So we can draw the cross sectional errors at there. If we look at these、uh, capacitors. From the top, it should show up as this one, right? One side length is L, another side length is L minus X. Agree? So we can write it there: L times L minus X, then divided by distance d. So similarly, we can find the capacitance for the capacitor C two, and there you can see Dow electric inserted. So we times the Dow electric constant k and、uh, the parameter, right? Epsilon naught, and then the cross sectional errors. If you look at from the top, that is L times x, right? L times x divided by distance d.、Mm -hmm. Now we input C one and C two inside, and reorganize it. We get a function for capacitance of the C, right? The part one is solved. The second one asks you to find the energy solved stored if the potential difference is V naught. Now you can see. The V naught is given. Ask you to find the energy U. So very straightforward. You use a function one half C V naught squared, and this C is just as the equivalent capacitance for this system, right? Input C inside. You get function there. The next one tell you the magnitude and direction of a force exacted on the slope. So if we want to find the force, it looks a little bit difficult. Because as we talk about in progress, you can see we know force. We need we can consider the mass acceleration, but it's not this way, right? And we can see what quantity is given. It tells us the energy is needed, right? So we can from the energy to get the force, right? So now we can come to there.、Mm -hmm. We can see the external work needed just equal to the energy of the battery. And the energy of the capacitor. Do you agree? Yes. So because this is work energy principles. So when the voltage across the capacitor is constant and the dielectric is、uh, inserted, the charge flow flow from the battery to the capacitor.、Mm -hmm. Right? Do you agree? So it looks like the external work required is just the energy. Uh, done by the battery and the energy change of the cap,、mm -hmm, the capacitor. So first one, the energy back is the capacitor. We just did in previous, right? One half C V naught squared. Now the next one, the energy by the battery. As the two, we can see this is the voltage is the constant V naught. So we just look at how much flow from the battery to the capacitor Q times V naught. And it tell us this charge flow from battery to the capacitor, so we add the negative sign there.、Mm -hmm. And then this Q can write as C times V naught, right? Yes. So now we write it in this way. 
Now you can see from this equation, we can input U battery and U capacitor inside. We get a function look like this one. Now how can you get the force? We can use the differential of the work over x, right? Of the distance it moved. Yes. And then we look at the function for work. And we can say V0 is a constant. The only variable is the C. The capacitance changes with x. Agree? Yes. So now the differential work with the distance x, you can write it in this way. Just as the differential of capacitance over distance x. And we do this calculation, get a final answer there. Thank you.